Hello everyone, one more roll here. Today I'll be giving you a video on how to reach Mach 10 in the Dark Star in Microsoft Flight Sim. A big reason why you aren't reaching Mach 10 is because of this one crucial step and I'm gonna discuss it in this video. When you are following the tutorial, it will tell you to do 20 degrees nose high and to have max thrust. This is basically just to gain altitude so that you can do the inverted roll to go supersonic. The supersonic transition is where everyone messes up and this is what I'm gonna describe to you about how to do it correctly. So the first step is when you start going inverted and you start rolling down to 20 degrees nose low, that's all fine and dandy. You guys can all do that. The issue is, is where you pull up back to 10 degrees nose high. Whenever you do this, you want to do this slowly and slowly is a big keyword here. Cause if you do it too fast, then you won't be able to actually go to Mach three, which is like the next step, next step in the tutorial. So once again, after you get to 20 degrees nose low and you are pulling up on the stick to get to 10 degrees nose high, do this slowly. You will see that your airspeed is increasing over time. Don't worry about the ground. You're not going to hit the ground. You have plenty of altitude. Just slowly over time, bring it up to 10 degrees nose high. Once you get to about 10 degrees nose high, you should be about 1.4, 1.5, 1.6 Mach, and it should increase to Mach 3 from there because you're past the supersonic barrier. However, if you're around like 1.1, 1.2, and you are at 10 degrees nose high, you aren't gonna reach Mach 3. It's just not possible. So you have to do another inverted roll and bring it up slowly over time to correct that. And once you reach Mach 3, you can turn on the scramjets, uh, the fuel cell and the lights, and you're good to go. You'll hit supersonic, or sorry, hypersonic, no problem. If you guys enjoyed today's quick tutorial, feel free to like, subscribe. Thank you all.